guys and welcome to this video. In this video we will talk about editing the audio. We have a video in here so we add an audio to the timeline. As you see here the audio is longer than the video. So what we do is that we go to this tool right here, the razor tool. Then we click here to split the audio and delete the part we don't need. And we have now the audio in the same duration with the video. So now the audio fits the video. Now we will talk about increasing or reducing the volume. So right click on the audio, then we select audio gain. So we increase the number of the decibel to increase the volume. And same way we decrease it to decrease the volume. For example, I will make it at, you can double click and click 10 directly. And now as you see, the audio track has changed. The audio has decreased, sorry, increased. Now to reduce the volume, we go to the same option. Now with the normal volume, the number here is zero. So we put 10 or any bigger number to increase the volume. And to reduce the volume, we need to put a number smaller than zero. So we basically put a, ne a negative number. So I put minus 10 as an example. You can see that I can decrease the volume like this or increase it. When I drag here, I increase, and when I, when I drag right, I increase, when I drag left, I decrease. So as I said, I'll put minus 10. And I can make changes to the volume using the same way. For example, I will put minus 5 right now. And here we go. So right click and select audio gain to edit the audio volume. And as I said, more than 0 means more volume. Lesser than 0 means lesser volume. Now we move to lower the volume for just a certain part of the audio. We won't be reducing the volume in the whole audio. We will reduce the volume only in a certain part. For example, we will say we will lower the volume at the end of the audio. So to do that, we put the cursor here. So that's when the audio volume starts decreasing. Then we click here. And as you see, we have a dot. First we click on the audio. Then we click right here. And as you see, we have a dot in the audio. Now we go to the end of the audio and we do the same thing. We click on the keyframe and we have another dot. Then I lower the keyframe like this. So now the volume will decrease as the video comes to its end. And you can pull the keyframe up to increase the volume instead of lowering it.
Now I delete the keyframes. Now let's say that I want to lower the volume in the middle of the audio instead of the end. To do that, of course, I put the cursor right here. I click on the keyframe. I get the dots, then I go here and I do the same thing. I click on the keyframe to get the other dots. And this is the part we will, where the volume will be lowered. Then I lower the volume like this. Like this. I put a keyframe in there and I put another keyframe like this and the voice will be lowered. And as you see, when we reach this part, the volume will goes away. And the volume goes back to its normal position after we pass the keyframe. Now I will remove all of the keyframes. And I can go here to, so to speed the volume. I go to speed duration. I will make it instead here for 